If you always find yourself needing a screwdriver in your pocket, you might find this a little inconvenient, kind of pokes you in the butt, a little bit big. I'm gonna be comparing micro ratchets or mini ratcheting screwdrivers or whatever we're gonna call them. Nine of them, in fact. Why did I not buy 10? Because I kind of ran out of money. I bought nine of them, okay? And uh, we'll have links to these in the description where you can get them. Okay, so here's how we're gonna do this. I got a list of things that we're gonna go over with these things. Size, weight, package. Don't get dirty here. That's just like what comes in the package with these things. Handling, that's, you know, how easy is it to handle the thing? Adaptability, does it do tricks? I don't know, you know, can you make a, make a margarita with it? Wiggle, how much wiggle, when you're uh, using a bit, how much wiggle are you getting here? If you got a lot of wiggle, that bit's gonna be hard to, uh, to, uh, to use. And, uh, and feel, you know, that's the, that's the je ne sais quoi, so to speak. You know, how does this thing make you feel when you use it? I think that's important. Um, and as I'm looking at this list, we're gonna just get rid of size and weight here. I'm not here to waste your time. You can look that up online. They're all small, okay? They, they, there's nothing big here. This isn't a stinking, stinking pipe wrench that you're holding in your pocket. They're light, they're small. If you're getting that specific, fine. Look it up online if that helps you make, make your mind up. Okay, let's just start with the smallest guy, the 711L. The smallest little ratcheting bit driver thing of the group. This is the one that kind of got me uh, started thinking about, man, maybe I should find the perfect EDC driver. Well, how about the package? So this thing comes in a little tin. And uh, this little tin I've been using more than I've been using this, to be honest with you. I put some bits in it. It doesn't come with any bits. And I put a little extension in it. How's this thing handle? Well, it is teeny tiny. As we can see, it's ridiculously small. This has been the, the darling of the EDC community because it doesn't take up any room in your pocket, but at quite a cost because you can get like one and a half fingers around this thing. <laughs> it's a little tough to handle. It is nice that you can start a bit with your fingers and uh, flipping the switch to change your ratcheting action, not bad. But uh, you know, once you got a bit in this thing, you are, uh, don't got much, much leverage, right? I mean, just, this thing just disappears in your hand. So leverage can be an issue for handling, uh, which is why basically everybody says, hey, get one of these extensions. It will go right in the back. There's a quarter inch on the back. And now look at that. We have a much longer bit ratchet. All right. I guess that's fair. So yeah, I started carrying one of these extensions around, which are useful anyway. But handling-wise, the this thing on its own, pretty tiny, kind of hard to handle. We'll just put it that way. Uh, adaptability, well, I guess we kind of talked about that, right? It's got a quarter on the back, so you could put an extension on there. You could put your extension up here, in theory. Which way does it go? It goes here. And uh, put your bit down here. And then, okay, we got a little extra leverage, like a little L handle. So I guess there's some, some adaptations you can do with this thing. But overall, it just, it does a thing. It, it uh, works like a little uh, screwdriver that ratchets. Um, Wiggle-wise, not a lot of wiggle down here. Once you get your uh, bit in the head, you can see some wiggle. I expected this thing to have way more wiggle but the build quality on this thing is pretty good. Now, when you change directions, you do see that the uh, stuff moves, the, but oh, getting these things out, a little hard, but we'll put on the extension. You can see a little bit more how much, how much slop is in this. Surprisingly little for, I mean, the size of this is so small, I, I expect it to be way sloppier because it must be really hard to machine stuff that small, but yeah, not too bad. Um, Feel-wise, so using the thing, besides it being small, the ratcheting action on this, let's see if you can hear it. The ratcheting action on this feels really solid. I have reefed on it pretty hard and it has put up two 
that reefing. Um, but, you know, getting the bit out is kind of hard. Switching this from side to side is a little difficult. The whole thing's small and compact. You know, you, you basically just have to use it with an extension on it. Ah, so feel-wise, it feels like a really tiny little ratchet, which leads me to the award I'm giving to the 711L. I'm giving it my, you took the job too literally award. Yes, you flew. A little too close to the sun, my friend. You're too perfect. You, this wins my you took the job. A literal, too literally award. Well, let's just jump into one of my favorites here, the Weha. Weha? I don't know, it's German. This thing is a very nicely made tool. Impressive in its construction, and we will get to that. But let's start with the package. So this is one of the first ones that comes with everything. There are, I believe, 30 bits in this go box, plus an extension. And the extension also seems like very good quality. Little magnet in there for retaining bits. But this package, not too bad. It's made of metal. It opens and closes easy. But what a great package. This has every bit you could ever dream of. It even has the bit we were just talking about. Yep, you can turn this thing into a socket wrench. So every flathead, every Allen key, every square head, every, it's just got all the stuff. It's a great package. So handling, um, pretty good sized um, compared to what I said was the second smallest. See, it is chunkier than that Craftsman. It is more substantial in the hand. Um, you can get a pretty good grip, but it is a little bit slippery. Switching from side to side when you're using a bit very, very easy, but I did not find myself very often when I'm reefing down on something, flipping it by accident because it's a pretty small throw. From the back, you can start your fastener. That's a must. And this thing's chunky enough so it feels like you have a tool in your hand, which is nice. So handling wise, boy oh boy, handles very well. Uh, adaptability, because of the case, and all the bits, you get some adaptability there. The tool itself, it does one thing, it's flat, you know, you can't use a T-handle on it, so it does one job. It is a mini ratcheting driver. Wiggle, let's take a look here. A very small amount of wiggle. We haven't had any big wigglers yet. There is some wiggle in and out, imperceptible but there is some wiggle there let's uh, throw this uh, extension I've been using on all the others okay there's some wiggle there it's probably actually got a little bit more wiggle than the craftsman to be honest with you uh, which surprised me because this Viha feels much more high quality than the craftsman and I didn't feel it wiggling off of any uh, 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 fasteners so it surprised me that there's that much more wiggle in it. Um, as far as feel goes, that's where this Viha wins. This just feels great to use. It feels great in the hand. It's just chunky enough to hold on to it. It feels like you can get out here on the edge and you're not gonna lose it. It's a little slippery. I might rough this thing up a little bit someday. No hard edges. It's pretty soft. Um, it holds the bits quite well but not too well. You're not fighting it to get your bits out. This thing feels the best out of all of these tools. I, I'm enamored with this thing and it doesn't even have very many features. It just does a job, but the package it comes in is great. You know, this is just something you could throw in your, in your toolbox and you already got it or throw it, I guess you could throw it in your pocket. It's a little heavy, but just keep it around at work and it'll have everything you ever need. The Weha, the Viha, however you say it. This one's my most satisfying award. I'm telling you if, you, if you spend the dough to get this thing, look at the construction of this thing. Look at the machining. 
This is one of the most satisfying tools I've bought in a long time. And it seems really weird to say that because it doesn't really do anything more than any other the tools do. This case is okay, but I don't know. It was just my most satisfying tool. Next up, let's talk about the Craftsman. Yes, the Craftsman, your grandpa's favorite tool brand. Now owned, I believe, by MTD, which is or owned by Stanley Black & Decker. But hey, they said, yeah, let's get into one of these mini ratchets. Quarter inch on this end, quarter inch over here, and an offset. Look at that. The package, it comes in. It comes with this thing, and it comes with a bunch of, uh, of bits. And the bits I found to be useful and usable. So I started putting them in this tin when I was carrying this thing around in my little EDC pouch. Um, it doesn't really fit in the, in the 7-Eleven L tin, but that's okay. It's a little bigger than the 7-Eleven L. Handling wise, look at this. I can get about three fingers on it and I have an offset here. So when we're working on a fastener, instead of my hand being all up on the fastener, I can get my hand back here a bit and not be skinning my knuckles on whatever I'm screwing into or screwing out of. So this offset, really, really nice. I liked that. Um, you can start your bit from the back, which I believe is a must. And a little flippy flappy thing for changing the direction of your ratcheting action. Handling wise, pretty cool. Um, and as a little afterthought, you know, it's, it's kind of interesting how there's a, a quarter pass through here. Um, you could just throw a little piece of paracord in there for carrying this thing around on your, uh, on your keychain or whatever. Just a thought. Um, adaptability, well, we, I guess I already talked about that. Oh, I'm bad at this review thing. Yeah, throw a little paracord on here. You can turn a little quarter inch thing there. Not too bad. You know, I, otherwise it kind of does one thing, which is screw things down. Now, I should have mentioned this already, but I think whenever you're getting into one of these uh, little ratchet, mini ratchets, it's a really cool idea to bring in one of these bits. And I'll have a link to one of these in the description or comments or something. Pop this little guy in here. And all of a sudden you also have yourself a socket wrench. Hey, look at that. A little quarter inch socket wrench. So this is a nice little addition to any of these ratcheting wrenches. Okay, back to uh, the review of the Craftsman. Uh, Adaptability wise, like I said, not bad. You know, you got a couple options for doing things here, but you know, it's just, it just does one thing. Wiggle, let's talk about some wiggle here. Let's uh, put our little bit in here. I found that the Craftsman had a lot less wiggle, if we could focus, than a lot of the other tools which surprised me because for the price, you're not paying much for this Craftsman and it doesn't wiggle too bad. You know, in here, in this quarter, I guess if you want to use a pass-through for some reason, a little more wiggle. And uh, by the by, you know, you could take a quarter, boy, oh boy, I'm doing a horrible job, and use this somehow. I guess that's an adaptability thing, but back to wiggle. <laughs> We're getting off track here. There is a little wiggle, a little slop in, in and out, and a little wiggle, but for the money, I was pretty surprised by how little wiggle there was. Uh, Feel-wise, great fit and finish on this thing as far as I'm concerned. It just seems like a small little wrench that happens to ratchet on the top. Uh, it felt good enough in the hand. It is pretty small. This is the second smallest of all these uh, ratcheting wrench screwdriver things. The offset, I felt, really improved the use of this thing. Um, even though it does have an offset, it feels good in the pocket, and it's pretty light. I know we're not weighing these things, but yeah, this thing kind of just disappeared in my little uh, EDC kit, and I uh, used it for a little more than a week. Um, maybe like two weeks. It, just, it was kind of a pleasure to use. Um, not as feature-packed as some of the others, you'll see, but a solid performer. I, I give the Craftsman my best value award, when you see the price of this thing, 
with all the bits it comes with. It doesn't come with a bit holder, it would have been nice. But with all the bits it comes with, this is my best value. It has everything you need to ratcheting wrench on a budget uh, without really sacrificing quality, I feel. All right, let's, uh, let's find the old Titan here. I was excited about the Titan, right? The Craftsman, I, I like using because it has this offset because it's always a problem when you get one of these small things, you're whacking your fingers on stuff or your fingers are getting in the way. In comes the Titan with an offset and a flex head, ooh la la. Now the Titan package, hey, we're coming with some bits. We got a little bit holder, and you're kind of ready to get going out there. It tells you which bit's in the slot. I didn't use this bit holder because I had a different one, but hey, I would use this. The bits look fine. And yeah, decent little package. Says there, lifetime warranty. Huh, okay. Handling. All right, so I just sung the praises about this thing. You know, it's got an offset. That's perfect. Um, and it's got a flex head. More perfect. And guess what happens when you try to use this thing? This flex head slops all over the damn place. Handling on this thing is a real pain in the neck. Um, I guess somebody somewhere could use it well, but good Lord, every time I tried to use it, it's flopping all over because you can't lock it into position. The, 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 the shaft is long enough to be not, you know, a pain in the neck to have in your pocket or your little EDC carrier. And this little groove here, that's great. It feels like I could get really, really good leverage on this thing. But because this head just flops, I got really irritated with it the first time I used it. Uh, flipping this back and forth, fairly easy. It's shielded so you don't bump into it. But no starter bit thingy here. So you are stuck just reefing this thing. I kind of got to a point where I was just using it like this to get fasteners started. It irritated me because sometimes the fastener is a little loosey-goosey and every time you go back that fastener loosens up and I couldn't start the fastener. I was starting with my fingers. Handling, not super happy with it. Adaptability, uh, it's got a lot, it's got some bits. It flops around. You can kind of use it like that. So I guess that's an adaptation. It's got some adaptability but you, know, you can't tie it off to anything, nothing like that. It just, it just irritates me even holding this thing, how floppy it is. Maybe some people will love it. Maybe some people say, hey, no big deal, just hold on to it. And the finish is really actually nice, which we're not talking about that right now, but this looks like a Flight of the Navigator or something. Um, wiggle. Well, you got a lot of wiggle here, um, but let's talk about the wiggle here. Boy, they actually did a really good job making this thing not wiggle. Can't push the bit up from the back, so you gotta pull it out. Uh, let's grab this uh, wiggler here. No real in and out movement. Up and down, very little. Very tight tolerances on this thing. If only this thing wasn't so floppy. It's, it seemed like a good idea at the time. I was excited about this thing, but not a lot of wiggle. Okay, there's some. But not a lot. It, yeah, it's, it's got a little wiggle. Uh, feel, this thing feels nice. It's got a good finish. It's cool to the touch. It's chromed out. You know, it's got all the stuff it should have except that lock. Um, pulling bits out. It's got a little magnet in it. Oh, you got to kind of yank on them. It's, it's not even a magnet. What is it? It's, it's holding them in under compression. It's got a spring in there. Okay. That might be a problem. Those will loosen up over time. But feel-wise, it's felt good. It just flops all over. So ah, this one wins my You Almost Did It Right award. All right, let's talk about the first one of these mini ratchets I bought, which is this Klein Tools. 65200. I own two of these. Let's talk about the package. This came with nothing. You get nothing, sir. You get the tool. What else do you need? 
So, uh, you know, there's no package. It's, it's this thing, okay? But it more than makes up for it on handling. This one handles better than any of the other ratchets we're dealing with here. Okay, put a little quarter in there. And we're doing that, that's fine. We can rotate that from the back. This was the easiest one to turn from the back. Um, really nice action here. Doesn't feel like it has a ton of, uh, what's that, back drag or whatever you wanna call it. Flipping this from side to side, easy. It's not hard, even though this thing's teeny tiny. Um, I never really bumped it while I was using it. It does move pretty far. And, <laughs> and my friends, it's quite bulbous on the end here. So if you got it in your hand, you're feeling it. But what I would do was I would stick my little thingy through here and just rip, rip on this thing. This thing handles like a real full-size tool, but it's small. It fits in your pocket. It'll fit in your little EDC pouch and easy to find and fish out because of this bulbous end. A little bit wide, I get it. But handling, this thing handles like a dream, baby. This thing's like, a, I, I don't even know what it's like. It's, it's really good is, is what I'm getting at. Uh, adaptability. So, quarter inch. This, I think, is a, it's probably a 10 millimeter. It's, it's, I don't know. It's not a quarter inch. I know that. I don't know. I never figured it out. But, oh, it's magnetic. Okay. <laughs> There's a magnet there. Um, adaptability, again, this, I don't know, it just makes it, it changes the game. You can have your hand above what you're tightening and do it. But what we do is we take one of these regular bit rails with every bit and uh, the adapter to turn this thing into a socket. We go clip and attach this to our little belt loop while we're going into a uh, unknown area to do something. And it just hangs on your belt loop. I found this thing to be very adaptable just because of this loop. Um, no, you can't use this thing as a T-handle. You don't need to, you got the loop. So I was very, very happy with how adaptable this thing is as soon as you grab yourself a railer, bit rail, or just whatever on one of these carabiners. So I guess you have to use that with it, but I'm just saying it adds options. You could tie a piece of rope to that, whatever you wanna do. Wiggle. Do, do you see any wiggle here? In and out. There's nothing there, babe. Let's uh, let's put in the, the longer piece. Okay, now we see a tiny bit of wiggle. This thing's tight. It's tight like a tiger. This thing holds bits and stuff super good. Not a lot of wiggle. And that's important because if you're wiggling all around, you, you lose contact with your fastener and you uh, round it off, which I do all the time. And then feel. I feel like I love this thing. I own two of them. Um, so I've got one in my house tool bag just for if I need to go do a quick task, I grab this. And again, regular bit rail, they kind of go together like peas and carrots. Um, it feels good in the hand. Everything feels good to use. I feel like I really like this thing. I was trying to think up a, a good, fun award name for this thing. Uh, this Klein Tools gets my Commando Award because you can just you know, take this thing into the jungle and it'll get the job done. It's not gonna break, this thing is stinking solid. Good American company, Klein Tools. Combine it with one thing and you can get any job done you need. I did things in an ele electrical box this the other day that you shouldn't be doing and I did it with this tool. This is a commando award. You, you drop me in the middle of nowhere with this thing and a bit rail and I'll get anything done. You can even use it as a bottle opener. Okay, let's talk about this, uh, this Harbor Freight. This was the absolute bargain basement uh, pick at Harbor Freight. This thing was like three bucks, okay? This is the cheapest thing I could find. Harbor Freight, baby. This thing's uh, it's like carrying around a spoon. <laughs> In the package though, hey, they give you a little bit older that I was using for a while and some bits. These aren't the bits that came with it, I think, but I used all the bits. It's got a perfectly good package for like three bucks, four bucks, whatever this thing cost. Handling. This thing handles like a, uh, well, this thing's just all angles and chunks and 
I don't know, I don't know, man. It's a, it's a, it's a rough and tumble operator. We'll just put it that way. Um, this thing takes some effort to click through your things while you're uh, tightening down a fastener, getting it started. Listen to this thing. It is clunky. It is chunky. Um, switching your ratcheting action takes a little work, and that thing pokes you a bit. Um, it's pretty long. It's kind of thick. It's not that heavy, but handling-wise, I mean, this thing, it's going to be a labor of love. You got to want to do whatever you're doing. Um, adaptability, you could probably use this to like, I don't know, like knock out a, a rat. Eh, maybe not a rat, maybe a, a mouse. You got some vermin, you got to crush a cock cockroach. All right, you could do it. Um, it fits in the pocket. If you got big pockets, this thing's a, a hunky chunky clunker. But you know what? It does, it does what it's supposed to do. It's all there, you can clean it out. But adaptability, eh, just, it does one thing, you know? Here's your little ball detent. I don't know, it does things. How much wiggles this thing got? All right, Harbor Freight, right? This thing's gonna wiggle all over the place. There was a little bit of wiggle in that frame. But in and out, just about nothing. Let's get the big stick. Where'd it go? Okay, it wiggles. This is one of the wigglier ones in the bunch. I think it was four bucks, what do you expect? In and out, not bad, but some real wiggle in the head. You can, you can lose contact with your fastener. Uh, feel, this thing uh, feels, I've already talked about it a bunch of times. Feels like a stinking big old hunk of metal with a bunch of rough edges. You could probably sand them down. It's black, at least they didn't try to gussy it up. I don't know, man, I tell you, I didn't mind using it though. I, I used it more than I used the, uh, where'd the Titan go? I don't even know, I put the, I threw the Titan away, I guess. I used it more than that, I actually didn't mind using it. I mean, it's just, it's just a basic tool that does what it's supposed to do. That's kind of the Harbor Freight theme sometimes, right? Um, didn't feel like it was gonna break, but it's kind of fun watching the moving parts. But yeah, it just, I don't know, it just feels like a cheap tool. I'm giving this one my cheap date award. And you know what? I like a cheap date. I like uh, just coming in and uh, just taking care of business, baby. We don't need to be highfalutin. Let's just uh, spend a couple bucks and, uh, and uh, get the job done, right? So there you are. Cheap date award goes to the, the Harper Freight. Uh, I don't even know if they had a name on the box. It was like in white packaging. Now on a similar theme to the Harbor Freight is this st Strabito, Sterabito ratchet wrench set. Um, this is the same kind of theory. There's a lot of these on Amazon. They're just a flat, low profile ratcheting thing. This one isn't flat, it's kind of bulbous. So flat, low profile. I think these kind of got popular amongst the biking crowd. Uh, let's look at, you flip it side to side that way. Let's look at the package, okay. Uh, let's flip this thing out here. This thing came with a bunch of bits. Ooh, they're shiny. That means they're cheap. And uh, this extension thing, that's cool. So they gave you stuff to work with because an extension is really necessary for these things. So that's the package. It's got bits, it's got an extension. Handling. This thing, honestly, I don't know why it kind of irritated me too. Um, it, it's not as clunky as the Harbor Freight. It uses kind of the same deal here, right? Just a, a wide open ratchet and you, uh, but this one has a button on the side, you flip it from side to side. And that somehow I did bump a few times while I was using it. It's not very difficult to turn the ratchet and you can kind of get some, some zhuzh on the end of the thing, but this plastic's a little slippery. Um, the handling's okay. It, it'll come in and, 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 and get a fastener fastened or anti-fastened. You just gotta watch out for this. You can't really grip down on it. And sometimes you're trying to spin here and you gotta kinda you know, get in it because it's not raised, it's in the middle of the tool. So we're trying to get a fastener started and you're bumping this thing. So eh, handling's okay. Uh, adaptability, um, again, you could probably whack something with it. There's no way to tie it off. It does have, I always forget about this, a little uh, quarter inch on the back with a magnet retention. 
So that's nice. You know, we can use it like a regular screwdriver. Uh, it's a little fat on the back, so trying to do that might be a little difficult if we're working in a tight space. So maybe you'd put the extension on. And then this, you know, I guess you could use the extension to get a little extra leverage too. Uh, you know, so it's got some adaptations. Uh, let's talk about wiggle. This thing wiggles all over the place. Um, and we should have probably talked about, it doesn't really hold the bit that well. These bits feel like they're just gonna come popping out. That wiggles a lot. This doesn't wiggle as much. In and out though, if you can keep the bit in, quite a bit of in and out flex. Let's go with the big deck guy here. Oops, I can't even keep the bit in here. Yeah, quite a bit of wiggle. And wiggle side to side, a lot of slop going on here. Ah, feel, I just didn't enjoy using this thing. It didn't feel like anything special. It felt like a piece of plastic around some metal. Uh, the bits I didn't want to use, they just, I don't know, they seemed cheap to me. Um, the extension, yeah, that's fine, I'll keep that thing. It was relatively cheap, that made me feel good. And I feel like there's a lot of these on Amazon. There's nothing wrong with this thing. It's basic, it just does the function. But there's probably better options. I'm giving this my uh, participation trophy. Okay, let's get into this uh, Presta. Let's get into this Presta cycle. This was the last one I bought. I bought it at the last minute um, for one reason. Let me get a close look here. Uh, I bought this at the last minute for one reason. I was kind of excited was because I saw the packaging. So let's look at this package here. Let's open it up. So this thing folds up into a little EDC package. Look at how convenient that is. And it has a little pocket. Maybe you can put your ID and your, and your, and your credit card in there. Maybe if you carry around one of these, which I think everybody should, uh, that goes right in there. This folds up right here, and we can either pop it on our belt or just put it in your back pocket, I guess. It's a little chunky for your back pocket, but what a great little package. They were very thoughtful when they made this package, knowing that people were going to carry it around. The name is Presta Cycle. That's because this is aimed at cyclists. Because look at all these bits. These bits, I think, are stuff cyclists will use. But you could take these bits out. They're kind of chromey. I don't know. I don't trust them. But maybe they're good. You could take these bits out, replace them with your own bits. But I just found that the bit selection wasn't the best in the package. This Phillips was kind of worthless. Uh, these torques were okay. But you could replace them with other bits. That ain't a big deal. And it had a nice long extension handle. Let's talk about handling, shall we? Uh, this thing is one of the longer ones of the bunch. In fact, probably the longest of the bunch. A little knurdling on the end here with a little grip on it. A little knurdling here. So while we're using it, we have lots and lots of grip. Is it bigger than the others? Yes. It's very slim, though. Um, you get a lot of... Uh, Zhuzh on this one. You could put the handle in here. Look at how long we are now. Look at all of this oh, reach you have on this thing. It handles very well. Um, spinning the back thingy um, wasn't the easiest out of all of them, but it spins just fine. Flipping this from side to side is pretty smooth, and the ratcheting action is solid. It feels a little stiff, but it's solid. Solid. But yeah, you get lots of leverage on this thing, especially when you double them up, baby. Look at that. Uh, double up. Uh, uh. So, yeah, handling quite good on this. Adaptability. All right, now we're getting into something. So, uh, we've got a ratchet. We've got a pass-through. So that red dot needs to line up with a thing. Now we've passed through. We've turned this into a T-handle. Holy smokes. You know, well, did I mention there's a quarter inch down here with, the, with a, uh, a, a magnetized bit retention? So now we got some adaptability. We can put this in different positions. We can do this. You know, we can pull it out, change directions, uh, not line it up with the red dot, flip it over. There we go. Flip it over on the side with the red dot. That's what we're supposed to do and get some reach. 
what a nice adaptable tool with the nice adaptable package that you can put your own bits in to your heart's desire. Very adaptable. Wiggle wise, let's talk about the wiggle. I always go in the wrong side of this. Wow. Not much wiggle. This one uses a, uh, I think a little just compression ring style retention. So you can get some, a little bit of the old in and out with it. On the bottom side, a little bit of wiggle. Let's use the, uh, the big dog we're using on all the other ones. We're not gonna use the super long press to cycle extension. Okay, there's some wiggle there. There is, but it was weird because it didn't feel like there was that much wiggle when I had the regular bit in there. So I don't know, man. We can, we, can, we can make this thing wiggle. We can move the whole works around. And it does wiggle in and out a bit. Ay, ay, ay. And a little wiggle down there. Yeah, there's a little wiggle in this. All of these kind of have the same amount of wiggle, really. I think the 711L probably had the least wiggle. Or the Craftsman. The Craftsman didn't have any wiggle to it. So a little wiggle there, but I never had a problem with it. Um, I carried it around for a while. Um, yeah, it's kind of long. It fit in the pocket fine. Feel-wise, this feels like a package for somebody who wants an easy EDC setup. It felt good to use. Nothing irritated me about it. You know, this one just feels like it is what we wanted, which was an EDC ratchet set that's maybe a little bigger lengthwise. It's definitely geared towards cyclists, but you can change that. Um, boy, this one wins. My best EDC award. I'm not even going to give it a funny name. This is just your best EDC package. You know, we call it best package award. That's fine. You can chuckle at that one. But yeah, what a great little package there. Okay, did I, did, I, did I save the best for last? Yeah, I did. And this is also from Harbor Freight. How about we go from this to this? Holy smokes. Ah, this Harbor Freight Icon set was so hard for me to get my hands on initially. Um, I ended up ordering it online. And now I can get them at my local Harbor Freight. But holy smokes, this thing. Well, let's just go through everything. Let's take a look at it first. It does ratchety stuff. It's got a flex head. It's got a quarter inch on the back. Let's look at the package first. Look at what a clean package this thing is. This has like 33 bits. Weeha, Viha, you only had 30, what's up? 33 bits. Torx bits with the uh, stinking anti-tamper. I guess you can tamper with whatever you want into tiny little sizes. Couple flat heads, couple Allens, couple little squaresies. Look at that, hey, hey, hey. We get our adapter to turn this thing to a socket wrench. Yep, sure got one of those. Look at, look at this, these Phillips heads. Like a bullnose Phillips. I don't even know what's going on here. They just like threw everything against the wall to see if it stuck. This package is nice. It's light, it's plastic, but this grip's great. Um, Opens and closes easy. Boy, what a great little package. It holds on to everything. Let me just open it up. Hey, everything's still where it's supposed to be. Um, I like this thing. It's got a little extra room inside if you want to fit a little extra stuff in there. Um, wow, what a great package. Let's talk about handling on this thing. So this thing handles like a dream. This is a stinking uh, a Corvette. I don't know. It's a good car. I don't know good cars. Using the, oh, I love this. There's a bunch of different spots you can click this into. That's easy to do. Flipping your flipper, easy to do. The head does move when you flip it, they all do. You don't bump this thing because it's, you know, it doesn't stick out from the edge. Starting a fastener, not terrible. This isn't the biggest and easy to get to. This is a slim little package. This is your highest point, this button. Um, can you accidentally hit this button while you're doing a fastener. You could if you're a gorilla, but it's, it's fine, it does great. Um, this thing felt really good to use in multiple positions. Adaptability is what we're gonna get to because that's where this thing shines. Um, 
Where'd one of these bits go? Let's give us, let's, let's show this thing in use. Boy, on handling too, this ratcheting action feels better than any of them. Solid, tons of little clicks. I mean, just barely got to move it to get to a new click, but we're talking about adaptability. Flex head gives you tons of, of adaptability. This thing has a pass through. So you gotta like line up the white dot with, okay. So we got the extension, great. You gotta line up this white dot with something. I can't see it on the camera. There we go, we got these little ridges on here. Now we are in T-handle mode, T-handle, uh, L-handle, put the thing down here, super long, super aggressive. Look at how long that thing is. Um, so tons of adaptability on this thing. And I found I didn't even really need to use an extension with it half the time if I really needed to wrench on something because I would flip the, the head like that and that would give me just enough leverage to get into a small space and twist, which was amazing to me. So this thing is certainly adaptable, especially when you consider all the stuff they give you. But just on its own, does a very, very good job of doing different tricks. Um, you wouldn't have to have an extension with you, like I said, because you can twist this to the side and get enough leverage to uh, screw in a fastener there or you know get some good leverage at an angle here. So very, very adaptable. Wiggle, let's talk about Wiggle Harbor Freight. There's a little wiggle here. You can see where it's wiggling, the uh, little retention in this. And did I complain about this kind of retention earlier, this kind of ring retention? I don't know. It could probably blow out. How much wiggle do we have there? Let's compare it to the Craftsman. The Craftsman had the least wiggle, right? I think it did. I can't even make the bits go into this Craftsman now. I think the Craftsman has a little less wiggle. Wiggle down here, in and out, nothing. Wiggle up here. See, I'm nervous on camera, I can't get, oh, I got it on the wrong side. Can't get the bits in the right side. In and out. Tiny bit of movement, tiny bit of movement. Uh, let's put one of these extenders on here. Let's see how, how much wiggle we got now. Oh, we got a little slop there, boys. Wow, with, with this, Extension, we're sliding in and out a lot. What's going on here? No slide on that extension. What about this extension? A little bit. So with their own extension, we don't get as much slop in and out. What about their bits? Is there witchcraft going on here? It's in. I could pop it out a little bit and then push it in. There's a little bit of wiggle in and out. I don't care, I like this thing. Um, so yes, we have some wiggle. It is not wiggle free, it's Harbor Freight, come on. Um, let's talk about feel. This thing feels like a dream. There's Okay, there's a little wiggle, there's a little this, there's a little that, but just being able to use a flex head on this, it feels like a great package a great way to spend your money is what it feels like. Um, I'm giving this one my best in show award. That's right, my favorite, the best one. So this is my best of show, my favorite package, my favorite for adaptability. This Viha almost had it, but it didn't have that flex head. But man, I love this thing. I'm so happy I bought it. I'm gonna keep it forever. I really like it. Um, honestly, my favorite one to use on a daily basis is the Klein tools. So what are we gonna do? I don't know, I love these. These are all like my kids, except for the Titan. I don't really like the Titan that much. It's fine, there's a link for the Amazon and that thing, you can buy that. The Storibo, probably don't like that much. Harbor Freight's kind of fun, but keep that around. The Presta Cycle, I just, yeah, I didn't carry it around in my pocket that much. It's, it's useful, it's really useful. It kind of has all the stuff. I don't know why I'm not crazy about it. I like this one the best. I think I, uh, I've been carrying around the, I don't know. They're all pretty good. Links in the description for the ones that are on Amazon. The ones that aren't, which are the Harbor Freights. You got to just go to Harbor Freight, fight the crowds to get them. Which one should you buy? I don't know. You go figure out which one to buy. Go spend your money. Links in the description if you want me to get a little piece of the action.